just come across a small brown snake. Quite easily ranked within the top five venomous snakes in the world. It's just so well camouflaged here, I almost trod on it. It's kind of freaky. Brown snakes like this one are found throughout eastern Australia and can grow up to two metres in length. They've got a fairly notorious reputation for being aggressive. But fortunately for me, this one moved at the last moment and gave way its position. More often than not, they will try to move away when people approach them, but if you're walking fairly quickly, they're not always going to get that chance. Fortunately for me, it gave me a chance. So I think I'll go around it. The Blue Mountains National Park is home to several snake species, ranging from the highly venomous eastern brown snake, red-bellied black snake, copperhead and death adder, through to less dangerous pythons and green tree snakes. Although common sense dictates to stay away from snakes, there's an old adage that a snake equals a steak. But with other food sources available, you'd really have to consider the risks of going after such a meal. And when a brown snake can kill a healthy adult within an hour of an attack, you'd be far better off leaving it alone. A red-bellied black snake like this one is probably the 21st most venomous snake in the world. Fortunately they're not that aggressive, so if you keep a respectable distance, it won't come and harm you. They generally like to stay around in the marshy, swampy area, around rivers and creeks. But I'd say this one's been driven up the ridge slightly because of the flash flood that's passed through. But if I keep my distance, I'll be able to admire it for what it is, and not get bitten. The venom of a red-bellied black snake contains a combination of hemotoxin and cytotoxin, which upon injection into the snake's victim immediately starts the process of incapacitation. Hemotoxic venom affects the heart and cardiovascular system, while cytotoxic venom destroys the tissue cells, especially around the area of the bite. And common symptoms from a red belly black snake bite are cramping of the muscles, vomiting and nausea, diarrhea, the swelling of the bitten limb, intense localized pain and necrosis of the tissue around the area of the bite, and even the loss of consciousness as the circulatory system starts to shut down. two red bellies there within metres of each other. Probably using the gaps in between the rocks for shelter. And I mean if I can see two, I'd be certain that there'll be others there that I can't see. Easily going to have to avoid this spot by going around. I mean, don't want to push my luck. and never let a motionless snake lull you into a false sense of security because if it feels threatened then you're almost certain to be attacked which at best will leave you with a nasty bite and at worst in a world of pain and possibly a death sentence it's not just reptiles and arachnids that can cause you trouble in the blue mountains because some of the vegetation can be equally dangerous with deadly poisonous strychnine and destroying angel mushrooms being local to the region. But once again, if you use your brain, stay away from the things you don't know, and even the things that you're uncertain of, then you'll enhance your chances of survival.